All right, guys. Uh, welcome to another adventure. Things are going to be a little different on this trip. Uh, Logan and Brian are still in Alaska. Eric and Martin just flew out to Arizona today to go coos hunting. So I have this trip planned to come hunt whitetails with my good buddy Ben over in uh, over in Wyoming. And so I needed an able body to run a camera. So guys, welcome to the Hush Channel. Our good buddy Matt Lee. If you guys watched, have been watching the series, you might have saw us hunting with Matt down on the R and K Ranch when Gage killed his bull. Uh, Matt. Give, give the people at home what they want. They want an introduction. They want to know two things about you that no one has ever known about you. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, my name's Matt. I guide for R&K and just wrapping that up for the season and uh, lucky enough to hang out with Casey and come help him out on this hunt. Boy, I'd say you are. <laughs> <laughs> Super lucky. <laughs> two things nobody knows about me. Uh, you don't, I, I shouldn't have put that on you. That's a lot. Yeah. I, right, let's do two things that two things that you really like and two things you really don't like. Two things I really like. I love mule deer hunting and I'm a fan of fly fishing. Two things I don't like is driving at night probably. You don't like driving at night either. No. I hate it. Not a fan. And then uh, paper cuts. Paper cuts. Or stubbing your toe. No. <laughs> those are two good ones. I really don't like either of those things either. Well... That's me, guys. You, hopefully you don't see my face the rest of this video, and <laughs> hopefully I can do the channel some justice. I think we're good. Matt has, when we hunted with Matt, he was showing me some videos he's done. Uh, Matt has a, a YouTube channel as well. It's called Utah Sportsman. What is it? Utah yep. Sportsman. We'll link that below. But Matt definitely has an eye for the camera, so we were, I was talking to him earlier this year. I'm like, hey, man, we could possibly use you when you get done. Um, so Matt's gonna be with us on this trip and then uh, our next trip going to Colorado, Matt's gonna be with us. So I am I think Matt's gonna do a phenomenal job. You guys will have to let us know what you think. our location um, you guys meet Ben a good buddy Ben Howdy. Um, we're gonna this is his old stomping grounds where he grew up and so we're gonna take the horses in tomorrow and go set up a camp how many miles in I always like to tell him miles you know yeah four miles probably four miles it's not too far set up a camp and we're gonna hunt white tails in elk country should be pretty rad so we're just kind of glassing around not tonight seeing what's down here on the private but we're gonna be hunting up above it in the uh, on the National Forest tomorrow. Should be fun. <laughs> yeah, your uh, pack wolves just look like they want to kick you in the face. Yeah, they're big. They are big, yeah. They're little, but they're big. Yeah. Short and stout. Stout. Yeah. Guys, good morning. Welcome. Uh, we just got to the trailhead. We're saddling up some horses. We're gonna load some gear and we're gonna go hunt whitetails for a couple days. From what we saw last night, uh, well, I'm liking our chances. There's definitely not a lack of whitetails over here in Wyoming. It blows me away. If you think of whitetail hunting, you never think of Wyoming, or I don't anyway. 
I think it might fly under the radar a little bit, but um, it should be fun. It should be a super cool adventure. So we're going to get everything loaded up and uh, head in, set up camp, and then go try to find a, a wily whitetail. Is that what they call them? Wily whitetail? Wily whitetail in Wyoming? Lots of W's. I'm only taking three shells in there with me. That's enough. Okay. I like your confidence, Matthew. Guys, once again, we've got the uh, Bush Weather V Vanguard shooting the 300. If you guys don't know, we came out with our own gun this year. Well, in collaboration with Weather V. But we picked everything out the colors, floor plate, Cerakote on the barrel. This gun's been a killer this year. We've had a lot of success with it, shoots really well. I uh, got the Vortex Viper or the Vortex Razor on there. And uh, it's been I'm super confident in the gun. I think I've always say that. Like, it's not only important to be confident with yourself and your abilities, but be confident in your equipment. And so the 300 might be a little overkill for Whitetail, but I love how this shoots. Uh, it's been working great this year. So we're going to, got the horses saddled. I'm going to throw the gun in the scabbard, and we're going to horse back in. I'm a little nervous, I'm not going to lie. Horses make me nervous. Matt, how are you feeling? I concur. You concur? Yeah. I'm almost, I almost, I told Ben last night, I said, I'll just walk it. Yeah. <laughs> Such a wimp. I need to get over this fear. Anyway, here's to uh, safe travels and uh, happy trails. That's what cowboys say, happy trails? See you at the top. See you at the top. We got. But you've had these other two for a while? Yeah, we've had them for all oh, four years. We've arrived at our destination. Um, just gonna unload the horses, set up camp, and then we're gonna go hunting. This is some rad country back in here. I'd have never guessed that we would have there'd be whitetails in this country, but supposedly there are. We saw a lot of sign coming in. And these those fields we were looking at last night are just below us. There's these big canyons that run up, and that's what we're gonna be hunting. Hoping those deer go down there a bit feed at night and then they come back to bed, so. We're gonna get camp set up and then we'll figure some stuff out. This is a this is a tour of the tent. Oh, is this a tour of the tent? Yeah. Guys, we just got do you show them the outside yet? Not yet. This is called Hillbilly Hunt Camp. Look at this. We forgot some things at the truck, like a saw. So we had to improvise and find some dead logs. But she's she's tight, she's gonna hold up. So here's the tent. We're going bare minimum. Got some sleeping stuff. Got a stove. That's all we need. We got a cooler full of meat. And so uh, we're good to roll. We're just getting all our stuff wrapped up, loading our packs, and we're going to hike out of here and go try to find them. What are we hunting? Whitetail? Whitetail. We're going to go find Whitetail. And as you guys notice, Matt's zipper is undone. <laughs> Head up. That's him, Ben. Chewing, looking back. Yeah. Yeah, he's facing the right. Okay, here we go. He's lifted his nose.
right in front of him. Right in right front, front of him? him? Yep. You were high. Ah. Clean mess. You still standing there? Yep. Nope. Nice shot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, that happened fast. Dude. Dude, oh. nice shooting. Good shooting. Oh, I missed him the first time. Dude, that was awesome. That was awesome. Literally, I just looked up and I saw white standing up. Pick my binos up and I go, holy crap, That's that looks like a deer. mule deer. Yeah. Dude, we just walked down the hill. We've been glassing all this. Walked down the hill. Five minutes. Literally. Look over, dude. I go, Ben, big buck. He looks at him goes, dude, that is a solid 140. <laughs> First shot was 470. I went high. Just, just over the top of his back. Yeah, I dialed for five. I should have held it just a little bit low. Second shot, he was about 520. And hitting two times. Perfect. <laughs> right in the boiler room. <laughs> Dang. It was. Good job, dude. Good shoot. Dude, that was rad. <laughs> this is the coolest country I've ever seen, and to hunt whitetail in it, it's unreal, man. We literally rode horses in about four miles, set up a, a backcountry camp, and then we hiked in another mile and a half, two miles. Yeah. And this is the country we just shot a big old whitetail in. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we'd be in here for at least two or three days I to try too. to find one. Yeah, I definitely did. But they're all just starting to get, starting to rut. You could tell. Does. There's a ton of does down here, some smaller bucks, and this guy just showed up with a, another small buck. Wow. I'm shaking. It's I don't awful, know if whitetails can get me that excited. Yeah. <laughs> I just got jacked. <laughs> Holy crap. There he is. There he is, yeah. <laughs> How cool is that? He died in perfect spot. Wow. That is a solid deer, dude. Oh, I don't think you can ask for more. Great deer. Big old block head on him, dude. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. It looks so similar to a mule deer. Look at that guy. Wow. That is cool. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna feed my family. Especially on day number one. <laughs> Man, super thankful. First shot was here when he was quartering. Second shot was right there, perfect. This big old swollen up neck, ain't he? Does. How old do you think this deer is? Four? Yeah, four or five. He's a super old deer. Definitely a mature deer. Yeah. His body looks to be like a, you know, average sized mule deer. Yeah. Wow. It's a good deer. It's a great deer. I thought I'd come over here and just shoot a deer. Yeah. You know, I didn't know <laughs> expectations or anything, but. That is a fantastic deer. Yeah, I didn't get better than that. My cameraman, he's been a phenomenal cameraman so far, told me I need to give you guys an update. So here you go. This is a whole hunt. We drove over last night, got here about four, went and did a little scouting, went and looked at some fields and stuff. And uh, then this morning we woke up about six and got the horses, got all our stuff ready, packed in. Uh, I think we got into camp at like 10, 30, 11. Set up camp, uh, which we forgot a saw, so it was hard to uh, build a frame for this the, the wall tent, but I think we did a phenomenal job. Um, got our stuff and came out hunting, and literally uh, at like 12.30 we started sp spotting deer, and uh, I think it was 1.30 this buck came out. 
which is super early. It doesn't get dark until I think the last shooting light's like 5.30. And uh, he came out, man, and here we are. Just got him cut up, getting the bags loaded up, and we're gonna head back to camp and enjoy ourselves. We came in here thinking it was gonna be like a three to four day hunt, but five if we needed it. Day one, pretty phenomenal. in the whole entire world right here. Oh. Yeah. Just back at camp. There's a we have a camp friend. See the war. It's Dwight Till. It's crazy the horses all picked their head up and looked until I looked over there and sure enough. Guys we're back at camp. Re relaxing. Crocs. Matt knows. Matt knows the ways. Uh, we're gonna have a little fire tonight and cook up some. I brought some moose steaks with us. Cook up some moose steaks. Celebrate what a glorious hunt this was. This is thanks to Ben. He brought me in here. He uh, told me about the spot Whitetail where he could horseback in and set up a camp and hunt them. I'm like, no freaking way. And sure enough, Ben knows his stuff. Like. We horsebacked in. Only saw two other guys today. Yeah. But we're right behind the big ranch, but this is all public. It's all forest service, so pretty cool way to kill a white tail, that's for sure. That's all I got. <laughs> yes, sir. It doesn't look terrible. No, it doesn't. It tastes good. Sizzle rock, guys. The secret to every good camp. last night we're sitting around the campfire this is something we should probably do every year uh, so this is uh, you have to put in for this tag but I put in with zero points and I drew it and so I think we can get the tag every year but thanks for watching guys as always super win your tag got blown down last night it was kind of a little chaotic but that's all part of the fun